Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and for today's video I'm back with another top 20 for 2020 list and this time it is my top 20 1970s horror films so my 20 of my favourite 70s horror so like all my lists we're going to start at number 20 and work my way down to number 1 but before we get on with my list though if you're not already subscribed to Jason and Joe, who created this um, top 20 for 2020, their links will be left in the description box below, so head on over and check both of them out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the list. Okay, so coming in at number 20, we have Massacre at Central High, and this one is dedicated to Joe, because ever since Joe reviewed this movie as part of the Slashback Challenge, Sometime last year, I was very, very keen to check it out. I watched it on YouTube, thought it was absolutely fantastic. This is a really, really awesome 70s slasher film. And I was fortunate enough to come across this UK DVD on eBay, so I picked it up. Not the greatest quality, but I'm just happy to have this one in the collection. So yeah, at number 20 is Massacre at Central High. Coming in at number 19 we have Grizzly and this is a awesome creature feature, killer bear movie. It is essentially Jaws on land. But yeah, this is awesome. Good effects, I love the setting and the bear looks awesome. Coming in at number 18 we have Tales from the Crypt and this is a fantastic horror anthology. I like all the stories and I love the wraparound story. So yeah, that's Tales from the Crypt. Coming in at number 17 we have The Town That Dreaded Sundown and this is definitely one of my favourite slashes from the 70s decade. Sure some of the comedic moments are a little bit silly but overall this one has really really good atmosphere. I like the setting and the story and I really really like the killer so that's The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Coming in at number 16 we have George A. Romero's The Crazies and this is a fantastic sort of infection movie. I really really enjoy this one a lot. Sure it's a little bit hokey especially some of the music but to me that just adds to the charm of this movie so yeah awesome film The Crazies. Number 15 we have Suspiria. And this was a no-brainer, and I'm sure this is going to feature on a lot of people's lists. And for good reason, because it is a classic. Very, very beautiful film um, with the lighting and the cinematography. So that is Suspiria. Coming in at number 14, we have Deep Red, and we're on a little bit of an Argento trend within this list. But this is a fantastic giallo. Um, I love this one a lot. I really, really like the storyline. The kills are awesome, really really good bunch of characters and this was one of the very first giallo films that I ever watched when I was getting into the genre and yeah it still remains one of my all time favourites so that is Deep Red. And continuing on with some Argento, at number 13 we have The Cat of Nine Tales. I consider this one to be a really really underrated Argento giallo. And I would say, apart from Tenebrae, it's my favourite Argento Giallo. Um, it's certainly my favourite from the 70s era of the Giallos that he put out. I really love the cast of characters within this film. I love the blind man. I think his character is fantastic. And I really, really like the storyline to this one. So, yeah, that's The Cat of Nine Tales. Coming in at number 12, we have The Toolbox Murders. And I reviewed this last year as part of the Slashback Challenge series. And this and that was the first time that I actually watched this film. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really, really well done. Very, very 70s, which I really, really enjoyed. But yeah, this one is awesome. Definitely one of my all-time favourite 70s slasher films, The Toolbox Murders. Coming in at number 11 we have Long Weekend and this is kind of nature fighting back style film. It's an Australian or an Ausploitation movie from the late 70s and this one is really really good. It's pretty simplistic about a um, couple who are struggling 
with their marriage, they go away for the weekend and they pretty much just have no respect for the environment or nature and they certainly get their um, payback. There's some good revenge in this movie. But yeah, really, really enjoy this one a lot. That's Long Weekend. All right, and moving into the top 10. So coming in at number 10, we have Piranha. I grew up on this one. I can remember renting this one out quite a lot back in the day. It was one of the um, earlier horror films that I can remember watching as a young child. But this is a lot of fun. Sure, it's pretty cheesy by today's standards, but I all, I've always had a soft spot for this one. It is a lot of fun and, um, yeah, killer piranhas. So that is Piranha at number 10. Coming in at number 9, we have Tourist Trap, and I consider this one to be extremely underrated. I hardly hear anyone ever talk about it when it comes to 70s horror or slashes in general, and I have no idea why, because I think this movie is fantastic. It's really, really creepy, especially with all the mannequins, and it's got really good atmosphere. So yeah, if you've never checked out Tourist Trap, I highly recommend it absolutely fantastic so that one comes in at number nine coming in at number eight we have a bay of blood also known as death of the twitch nerve i believe um this movie is fantastic um and extremely ahead of its time this one came out in the early 70s so it was one of the very first slasher movies in existence i guess but yeah, this movie is phenomenal. I love the setting. It's very, very eerie and creepy. It has really good atmosphere and really, really ahead of its time. Um, yeah, fantastic entry into the slasher genre. The kills are really, really awesome and the characters are really good as well. So yeah, that's a Bay of Blood. All right, and the further we go down on my list, the more classic these movies get. So had to include Lucio Fulci Zombie, also known as Zombie 2, also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters. Um, this was a no-brainer for this list, and I knew it would be pretty high up there. What a fantastic zombie film, classic soundtrack, some absolutely phenomenal iconic scenes within this movie. Um, the cover represents one of them, and then you also have the zombie fighting the shark which is really really cool um, this one has some fantastic gore and just an absolute classic so yeah that is zombie coming in at number six we have black christmas and it's actually been quite a while since i've seen this one so i definitely need to rewatch this one at some point but this is a fantastic slasher film absolute classic i love the atmosphere I love the killer, I like the characters, and I like the kills. Great stuff, I don't really need to talk too much about this one because I'm sure everyone is really familiar with this one. I know Jason is a big fan of this one, and for good reason, because it is awesome. So yeah, that is Black Christmas. Okay, so now we're into the top five, and I'm sure no one is going to be remotely surprised by the five movies that I'm going to show within my top five. So sitting at number five, we have Jaws. What can I say about this film? It is one of the greatest horror movies to come from the 70s. What an absolute classic. Love this movie. And yeah, it definitely had to be on this list. So that is Jaws. Coming in at number four, we have George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Another one that I don't really need to talk too much about. Absolute classic. And again, I knew this would be very, very high on the list. So, love this movie. It is fantastic. That's Dawn of the Dead. The next two were kind of difficult for me to rank. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows what my number one will be. But the next two honestly could have gone either way. But I put Alien at number three. What an absolutely phenomenal film. I love this one. This is my favourite sci-fi horror film of all time. Just an absolute classic. Um, love the set design within this movie. This movie is 
exceptional. I could go on and on about this one, but it's another one that's an absolute classic that I'm sure everyone has seen already. So I will keep my thoughts brief, but yeah, I absolutely love Alien. It is phenomenal. And the movie that only just beat out Alien, coming in at number two, is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. When I think of 70s horror, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the movie that comes to mind immediately. I think this one is a fantastic representation of 70s horror. It's got that gritty, grimy feel to it, and it is absolutely amazing. Another one that I don't really need to talk too much about because it is an absolute classic. Love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's an incredible film. So that one sits at number two. And coming in at number one, surprise, surprise, is John Carpenter's Halloween. This could be the only movie from a 70s horror list that could possibly be my number one. You guys know how much I love this movie how much this movie and the franchise as a whole means to me. So, very, very obvious choice, I know, but I had to put John Carpenter's Halloween as number one on my 1970s horror list. Not only is it my favourite horror film from the 70s, it is my favourite horror film of all time. So, yeah, number one spot, Halloween. Okay, so there you go. That was my top 20 1970s horror movie list. Let me know what you think of the movies that made my top 20 in the comments section below. And once again, if you're not already subscribed to Jason and Joe, both of their channel links will be left in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.